week four here. Um, I was looking at players to negotiate, and it looks like um, we have three big players um, that need to get a new contract. Everyone else is kind of okay to let go. Um, maybe bring back uh, Gilliam and maybe a couple others, but we definitely need to try to re-sign Gardner, Milano, and uh, Woolen. So let's try to see if we can offer them a contract here. I'm probably going to just do player friendly and see if they like that first. Yep, he was good with that one. For Milano, we're probably just going to do the same thing. Player friendly. Um, sweet, so he accepted that too. Um, for Woolen, we're going to offer him the same thing because I'm a little nervous with him. He's not really too happy. Um, oh, sweet, he was happy to stay too, so that's good. Um, looks like in week 8, we'll have probably get back and try to sign some more of these after we could re-sign Gilliam and depending on how uh, Jerry Hughes is and everyone else but if they have a good year we might try to re-sign them it's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports and the question is are you ready for some football it's the Bears and the Giants, and it's coming up next on EA Sports. Between the Chicago Bears. Set up shop at the 23. So we received first. Um, out comes the offense. Hopefully we can actually have a good game passing this week because uh, Justin Fields has been struggling. Justin Fields. And not only does he have all the skills that you're looking for as a quarterback, he's incredibly tough and plays the game fearlessly. He's definitely got some good weapons around him. We just gotta make some better choices and throws and plays. Good little, good little run there. Uh, we're probably just gonna run another little play action pass here. Probably just have to hit something short here. Now it's Fields off the bootleg, sliding out of the pocket. Nice deflection there by the defense. That was a good thrown ball, but they just read that play. Nice catch by Watson. Looks like they actually have an injured um, linebacker there. Um, I had a good draft video, but all my sounds got lost in my first like couple videos I made. So um, last week is definitely the first one back with sound. So let's try to hit Watson here. Um, he should break free after that. Again, he just way off. And I think it's because he was getting pressured. Um, but we have to make those throws. From the gun on third down, Fields. They'll complete this one to Watson. Nice little play there. At least got the first down. Before, before the trade that, that line, if we have to, we might try to get uh, a wide receiver. Um, a lot of our wide receivers are definitely for the future, but it doesn't hurt to try to see if we can get another one with, like, some draft picks for next year or something. Just a couple mid-round draft picks for next year. Dox is wide open there. Good play there. Alright, so we're just going to run uh, here. We're getting close to the red zone. Don't want to make any mistakes now. Nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. I'm going to try to hit Rodgers here on the crossing route. Got to roll out wide. They definitely blew up that play. Third and five. We're just going to try to um, get something short here on the inside. We're going to try to just hit Rodgers or Knox here. Fields now to throw. Nice catch there by Rodgers, but just a little too short. I'm just going to hurry up here. 
Um, just try another quick little short play. Don't know what just happened. So Trevor Lawrence has had a good um, start of his season already. He's thrown, I think, I think it was double-digit touchdowns already. It's pretty, pretty impressive for only being in week three. So hopefully we could try to stop him here. Milano with a huge hit. Looks like he's got some young tight, I mean, young wide receivers here. Need some speed. Oh my goodness. That crow route, um, beat, uh, three cool ones. And it looks like it's a cook first cook game here. Hopefully we can get a big game from James Cook as well. So ETN's had a decent little season so far. Um, he's averaging just under 100 yards a game. But this this defense has just been super strong against the run, run so far. Um, I should have just ran that to QB. Okay, we're going to have to throw it. Third defense has been really tough. Way to run that out. Fourth and short here. We got to try to take some chances here. Um, we should throw a slant here. There we go. First down. Definitely needed that. I also moved um, James Cook to a third down back um, for this game and try to see if we could get him more involved. Um, ETN with a nice rush there. Alright, so we're going to run up the middle here. Um, probably do this run play, and depending on how this one does, we might. Yeah, we'll do one more here. We'll run out wide this time, and if this don't work, we'll just do a short little pass. Try to see if we pick up the first down. That play kind of just folded, so I had to make do with what I could. Um, we're just gonna watch um, short here. I don't want to make too much. Plays, we gotta be quick. Here we go, throw it to James Cook. Nice play by Cook. Alright, so we're just gonna switch this to RPO. Um, they should bite on pass towards uh, Smith, so we'll just run it. James Cook's been stopped at the line both tries. Um, we're gonna try throwing it again. It's, we're gonna put oops, we're gonna put James Cook on just a swing right instead of having him cut across. Looks like they stopped him behind the line there. They've had a really good defense here. It's been impossible to do like anything. If they stop us here, we're just gonna run uh, the field goal team out. Looks like Dotson was able to pick up the first down right at two minute warning. We're going to run HB draw here. Um, I feel like James Cook could at least pick up a couple yards here. Alright, so we're just going to run a screen here. That play blew up again. This team is, their defense has just been so impossible. We haven't been able to do anything. We're driving, but we've had a couple of lucky plays on third down. Um, kind of watch over the top here. Oh, he could have got the touchdown. 
I just held X because I didn't want him to lose the fumble. So we're just going to try to run it here. Um, little read option. Should get in the end zone. Just to hand it off to Cook. There we go. Alrighty, so we end up getting an extra point. Um, they end up taking them out and got tackled before the um, 20 yard line. So it was a good stop by us on our kickoff team. Um, second down here, um, Trevor Lawrence. We're going to have to put QB Sky on him. I didn't think he was going to take off that shove. Some wheels. Okay, we're gonna have to run some fan coverage. Okay, so we're gonna try to blitz here with man cup. Almost have made a nice stop there. Um, we're gonna put press and then also put QB contain on. I don't know who that was. I think that was Queen, but he just got burned. But he was on uh, a wide receiver, so doesn't surprise me. They're going to be a lot faster and way better on angles in their cuts. Okay, I'm going to watch for interception there. Way to end the first half. It's already man coverage with QB Spy on it, so that's a nice little play. Gardner with the tackle. They're definitely driving. It's been really tough to stop them. I'm going to run a blitz here. Huge cup by James Chuck there. Alrighty, so it's first and ten. Um, gonna try to watch cut-ins. There we go. Huge hit by Milano. We gotta keep watching this middle. Um, every time we cover it, he just takes off. Oh, it's Delvin Cook. I'm sorry. I said James Cook earlier. All right, um, let's see. We're just going to kind of sit back here with Milano. They're going to get cut-ins. Clinton with, well, ha-ha with the uh, interception there. He read that play perfectly. Got to hand it off to James Cook here. Move him right up the gut. Nice little play there. They read that one right there. They just got the interception back on us. I tried throwing for the slant. He was open, but Bayard came right down and read that one. Alrighty, so we got the ball back. Um, we did run it out. Only got to the 21-yard line. Um, I was starting to feel a little bit more confident on the field um, with trying to drive after our touchdown drive. But that that interception was huge by them. Um, definitely took the lead back after we got a nice uh, stop. Again, their defense is all over. As soon as we have a chance to throw it somewhere, they're, they're blowing uh, Justin Fields up. Got to take a couple reads and just run if we have to. Like, see, look, I tried throwing it and right in his face. We're going to have to punt. Alrighty, 
Should be a good punt. Should hopefully put them around the 30 yard line. Yep. I just gotta try to hit them. Huge hit there. Um, they ran it out for a little bit. So here are the Bears to take over on offense. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good. ETN's not doing too much different than James Cook did. Both have similar stats this season. Okay, hold on. Trevor Lawrence somehow got out of that pocket. Definitely, they kept a good pocket for him on that one. Dump off there. James Cook's just so shifty on the outside. All right, so we're in the fourth quarter. Um, they're up 14-7 and driving down the field. Um, about, about to enter the red zone. Huge stop there to keep him out. But Devlin Cook's been having a good game so far, kind of. Um, he's been more like lethal in the passing game than he's been in the rush running game but their whole passing game's just been tearing us up they only have 115 yards but they've been able to do whatever they want the entire time hopefully we could try to get an interception here um now that they're kind of backed up inside the goal line kind of make them force something or they're just going to run into a Trevor Lawrence. Alright, here we go. We're just going to take it slow. But right now, the Bears definitely have the... Um, oh my goodness, here we go. Alright, so... Yeah, that's not good. Okay, we're going to we're gonna have to change this to a fake spike here. There we go, fake spike. Way off. That's intercepted. That's game. There's no way we're coming back from this now. They're almost in the red zone. I didn't want to waste one of our timeouts. Justin Fields has have had some really bad couple games here, but that was definitely my fault. I should have called the timeout, but I didn't want to waste one. I was just trying to hurry up the play and oh there we go there we go we got the ball back Tariq Wollin with the fumble recovery there I really I really thought it was over we definitely needed that one that's huge that was huge okay let's try to see if we could lead a drive all the way down the field um we're gonna put ETN on a swing route here, just in case. Yeah, we're just gonna dump off here. I was hoping Knox would pick up a block there, but he just wanted to let him walk right, right by him. Um, we're just gonna do a fate judge, judge stream here. Overthrew him again. We have to go for it. We gotta try to. I might just do double slants here. Just switch to double slants. We're gonna swap Watson on a street route to kind of make them bite. I like we're throwing deep. But there we go. They're blitzing in. That's definitely gonna end it there. I don't see us getting a, a turnover here. That was definitely our, our one chance we had to kind of get on the board. Let's see if we can at least drive down the field just for just for confidence. Alright, 
The start was short. Run slot flood here. Heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made. There we go. Nice slide there. About to hit the two minute warning. I don't know if we're going to be able to get a playoff beforehand. Yep. So, two minute warning hit. We're probably just going to try to see what we could do here. Um. Nice throw there. But they made a good stop. We barely hit 100 yards passing. Just run verticals here. Maybe hit Cook underneath if no one breaks open. At least Cook's had a decent game. Not too much with rushing the ball, but we've been able to hit him down low quite a bit. Nice throw there by Fields. We're going to call timeout. We're driving. Hopefully I could just get... If we could get the touchdown, I'll feel a little bit better that we were able to drive down the field last minute. I'm going to try to hit Dots in here. If he could break open. No, oh, that's intercepted. That's intercepted. Okay, at least James Cook came back and fought for that ball. I was really nervous. Alright, let's watch um, Smith. Nice catch by Devontae Smith. We're driving, but... Okay. I really thought he was going to keep going for a little bit. Alright, so we're going to put on an outright. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Run out of bounds. Alright, so it's third and eight here. We're going to try hitting this corner strike. I'm going to try hitting Watson, depending on what that safety does. If he bumps up a little bit, yeah, we're going to hit that corner strike. Quarterback read that one. Um, so fourth and eight. We just have to get inside the five pretty much. But we're going to go for a touchdown here. Got nothing else to really lose. So. That's inter oh, just went for the slot. So that's pretty much get game right there. They're just going to run down the clock. Um, we're just going to blitz it. Try to see if we can get a fumble here and bring it back for a touchdown. But nope. It's a good stop there. Let's let the time run out. There's no point of calling timeouts here. Um, that's it for this one. Um, I'll see you guys in week five. That's pretty much the end of this one. We actually had a better game passing and yardage than Trevor Lawrence. Um, but he definitely came out and was definitely a bigger uh, playmaker against us. But all right, guys. That's it for week four. Um Looks like next week we're playing the Packers. I don't know how they're doing. Um, let's see. Okay, so the Packers are 0-3 currently. I don't know how they're doing this week. Um, so maybe they will lose this week and we have a better chance next week. It'll be um, two bad teams playing. It's either going to be 1-4 versus 1-4 or 1-4 and, and... Actually, no, never mind. So it's either going to be 1-3 first. 1 and 3 or it's going to be 1 and 3 versus 0 oh and 4. So it's going to be a team of um top bottom two teams in the league um going head to head. So hopefully we have a good chance um but I'll see you guys in week 5.